In part 4 of the Working with Excel tutorial, I'll show you how the Origin project can contain an Excel window which is linked to an external Excel file. It may then be beneficial to save the Excel file in the same folder as the Origin project, or a subfolder under the Origin project folder, which will then make the two files more portable. I continue working with the project that I created from part 3 of the Working with Excel tutorial. The first step is to save this project to some folder. If I right click on the Excel window title and go to Properties, you see that the Excel file was saved as a link. You do have the option of saving as internal, which it then becomes part of the origin project and is no longer linked back to the original Excel file. But the default when opening Excel files is to have it be uh, an external link. Let's close this and let me go ahead now and right click on it again and save the workbook to a new location. I'm actually going to save it to the same location where I saved my project, but to a subfolder. Let's call it data, and then let's save the Excel file to that folder. I now want to right click on the Excel window title again, choose Properties, and then check the relative to current project path. Note the difference. Unchecking, it has the full path. When checked, it becomes relative. I'll click OK to close the dialog, and now save the project again. Now you can copy the entire subfolder structure, starting from where the OPJ is saved, and put it on an external memory device, or zip the entire folder structure. When taken to another computer and opened, Origin will look relative to the OPJ path to find the Excel file. If your Excel file is in a different location and you want to save it to the same path as the Origin project file, the OPJ, you can open the Excel file in Origin, then right-click the title, select properties and click this switch to OPJ path upon saving button. On saving the OPJ the Excel file will be copied from its current location to the same path where the OPJ is saved. This concludes the working with Excel tutorial. Thank you for watching.